Social responsibility is an essential part of the responsible conduct of research that puts difficult ethical questions for scientists. But sometimes, they tend to lose their rationale and ignore the consequences of what their actions might entail. So should they be held responsible for these errors or should they be given the liberty to take the risk? Let's discuss it as Ayush and Madhav enter the war of words. Hi, my name is Ayush Kolgur and today's topic is scientists should be responsible for the ethical consequences of their work and I am speaking for the motion. Hi, my name is Madhav Dalal and today I will be speaking on scientists should be responsible for the ethical consequences of their work and I will be speaking against the topic. Scientists are responsible for the ethical consequences of their work. For example, if a scientist wants to help alleviate hunger by, for example, creating a new strain by breeding drought-resistant crops then and are successful in it, then they are morally responsible for that and would be praised accordingly. Whereas, if a scientist wants to create a weapon of mass destruction by, for example, creating a lethal strain of virus and are unfortunately successful, then they are morally responsible for that as well and will be treated accordingly. It is the scientists that made our, our food uh, self-sufficient using fertilizers and pesticides. Raising ethical questions about insects being killed does not turn any tide. Uh, using plastic wonders made things lighter, durable and cheap. But it is the humans that litter them in the ocean. So why cry if human beings? Okay, Madhav, but scientists are not only responsible for the intended uses of their work. They are also responsible for the unintended but readily foreseeable uses of their work. This is in part because they are not only responsible for thinking about the intended uses but also what might follow from their chosen course of action. Now, you may know the discovery of, of plastics. It was the greatest moment of that time. But now, plastics are so bad for the environment and especially for the world and now, there are many deaths of animals and plants because of plastic. It is the scientists that made our food self-sufficient using fertilizers and pesticides. Raising ethical questions about insects being killed does not turn any tide. Uh, using plastic wonders made things lighter, durable and cheap. But it is the humans that litter them in the ocean. So why cry if human beings? Intentions matter a great deal. We are most blamed or most praised for what we intend to accomplish with our work. Many scientists become so focused in their work and so focused in achieving their goals that they fail to stop and think about other possible implications. As the Wright brothers bridge distance, uh, let's give aeroplanes a huge high five. Now don't wrong them buddy when you see the mix bomb balako through a uh, rapid nose dive. As the industrial revolution made products more affordable for the masses, can you really blame engineer scientists for causing job losses? In conclusion, the world has changed a lot and for better. Adding convenience and solutions to our daily life problems because scientists have toiled hard to get amazing solutions for them. Not all need money, they need recognition. Scientists have taken the responsibilities of the ethical con consequences of their work. They have tried to reduce the side effects and unintended consequences of their work by going through regulatory steps and coming out victorious through them. Even though scientific discoveries are lauded, they should be aimed towards making the earth a better place for us and the future generations to live in rather than pose a threat to our survival. Now, if you will remember, a few COVID vaccines had few side effects and there was much positive impact from them and the positive impact weighed higher than the negative impacts. Thank you. As scientists, their intention is never to hurt or to maim. It is a human mind that bends it badly and wrong intentions take aim. It is a government job to use these in inventions correctly. If pressure falls on these scientists, there would be no one else to fall back to or to ask. After all, when the mind is without fear and the head is held high, soar high are scientists. Now let's give them a huge high five. Thank you. I don't think Ayush and Madhav are ever going to stop supporting their sides. But anyways, both tend to bring a change in the society by raising their voices. And that's all that matters. A motive to bring change for the betterment of the society. We are very curious to know what our audience thinks about this discussion. So let us know your views in the comment section.
Want to be the first to know of the videos on the Mind Wars YouTube channel? Hit subscribe and click the bell icon. And remember, knowledge increases when you share it. So like, share and tell your friends about the video.